Nate, I want to fly a success jet today, but I don't want to have a heart attack. What should I fly? I know. Check it out. This just hit the market today. This is the brand new Habu Success RC jet. This thing looks so good. Has Amelia's favorite color yellow on it. And this is basically an amped up faster version of the beginner RC jet, the first Habu, the Habu 4S, 3S. This is gonna be faster, more powerful, and more agile. And the best thing about it is it's gonna fly a lot more stable than the last success jet, my only other success jet flight of the Viper. This one's just gonna fly really smooth and stable with safe technology. This also has telemetry on board. I'm super nervous as always to fly it because this is a day one made and this just hit the market today. It'll be linked down in the bio for you guys to check out with the battery and everything you need down there. So be sure to click that. It helps support our channel and my family and uh, we would just really appreciate that. Let's get this in the air and uh, see how it does. All right, Abby, you ready? Day one, made it. New plane. It's like crazy. The nerves are on, but safe is on. Yeah, I knew you'd be good. Juice, I feel like I need to go over half on this. Yeah, a little over half. Okay. All right, safe is snappy. Yeah. Safe is snappy. Mm -hmm. You're not playing with a toy airplane anymore. He's off on the juice some because you're climbing a lot. Climbing a lot on yeah. that curve. Mm -hmm. But I tend to give a lot of elevator when I turn. That's so. okay. This is a true maiden on a brand new release, Abby. All right, let's Good job. a little bit mm -hmm. I'm really high. But it's I okay. like the speed of going above 50, probably more at like 75. Just cruising right along. Yeah. Beautiful day to fly. That banks a lot. You like that? Makes me nervous. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like it goes sideways it feels like. Yeah, right. So if you give it full left, uh -huh. full aileron like, Inside. that is almost vertical. Yeah. On the wing. I wow. see what you're saying. Didn't expect that, but that's nice. Okay. So I flew the Habu a handful mm -hmm. of times mm -hmm. and then I eventually, I'll be honest, I sold it because I surpassed the Habu. So to our the, friend Gary, the original Habu, the original yeah, Habu. Not to our friend, one. to our friend Gary. Yep, to Gary. So Gary, I think he's still working on it. <laughs> A different Gary, not the not the YouTuber Gary. Yeah, <laughs> Gary Z. Yeah. <laughs> um, so he's still working on it, but the original Habu was amazing. Yeah. And they still sell it. It's oh, ready yeah. to fly. Um, they still sell it. It's amazing for beginners absolutely amazing and, and when i say beginners i'm not talking about people who have playing experience i'm talking about anybody who doesn't have any light experience that first habu was perfect for and i loved it it was great for me to progress in jets and planes period just flying in general but i quickly realized that i was able to fly my e-flight f-15 way easier and I just enjoyed flying my F-15 more because it was just a little bit more agile, a little bit more faster for jets. Um, so I so I got rid of my Habu. But now I have this awesome success one. And this I'm is, pretty proud of you right now. This is awesome. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. It's a really good size. I like the size of it. And uh, let's see if I can do a full throttle pass. Ooh, here we go. Success power. So basically, that was full throttle. If nice. If you have just a little bit of plane experience, you're not a complete noob, this is going to be an awesome first jet. It has a great amount of speed, I think. This is designed to be the next jet, okay? It's designed to be the one after the Habu. Or, or for the some. One after your first two planes. Yeah, so I agree. It, it could be if, uh, if you first. think. If anyone had any complaints about the. Uh, Habu, it was that it could have been considered too slow, yeah. but that's good for a beginner, okay? Yeah. Now this one. Perfect for a beginner. I'm still, I will still say if you're a beginner, you either need to get the Aero Scout mm -hmm. or if you want a jet, if you tell me you want a jet, but you've never flown, I will always say the original Habu ready to fly. Mm -hmm. But I love that they've taken the same kind of idea with the Habu and just made it better. And faster. Faster. More powerful. Powerful, more agile, because I can tell. And Nate's gonna fly this for you guys next. 
and he'll probably wake it up. Separate video. Yeah. So be sure you're subscribed so you don't miss that. Oh, we posted in a couple days. I'm sure he'll enjoy flying this. This is really cool. It's looking good. It's a really cool stable flyer. You're doing great. Yeah. Oh, can you do like a roll maybe? Like, do you feel comfortable enough oh to do it? I mean, I I'm just... I think I'll wait. Okay, that's fine. I think I'll wait. That's fine. I want, I want you to get a flight in. I think everyone's excited. No, don't, you know, don't land, but everyone's excited to see you land it probably because, you know, landings can be hard. Oh, yeah. The fact that this doesn't have retractable have landing gear. Too. Just a slight one. So in other words, you can pick whichever way you want. Well, even though it doesn't have retracts, it is better that way for who this jet is aimed at because uh, retracts are very fragile or compared can compared, be, to, compared to just general wire landing gear. these are much more forgiving you can bend it back okay i'm almost at five minutes mm -hmm. i haven't been flying it too bad this does have telemetry so it'll start beeping when it does get low that's right i'll give it one more full throttle and then i'll consider <laughs> landing here we go, full throttle. Giving that little down elevator. That is so steady. I thought you'd like that. Which way do you think I should land it? Left to right with this breeze, mate? Um, I would go right to left, I think, because that's your more common way of landing. I'm getting the whole eye water thing going because it's cold out. Welcome to my life. Yeah. Lost you in that darker cloud. I got you though. I got you. That was a bad thing. No, I got you. So it's okay. I just, that dark cloud threw me. Yeah, you're okay. Just get a feel. So your battery's not low. You're, you're a maiden. Think about it on this one and then. Practice landing. Attempt actual on the next one. Kind of gotten the, getting the right approach down. And obviously you're going to slow down. This is a very much like bleed the speed airplane so you get it down low and just right over the runway and hold it as long as it'll hold there and just let that speed bleed off until you feel it dropping so i think that was six minutes so just yeah you're right at six minutes oh, that's an awesome it's flight. a good flight time you got a 4000 milliamp battery in there and just drop it let it drop now zero throttle and drop it down oh my gosh it's always scary you can give a little throttle Okay, get it much closer to the runway. Zero throttle, let the gravity do the work, then flare. Oh, now bleed, so bleed, 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 or you can go around again. Oh, go around again if I you want to try. Oh my god! <laughs> this is, oh my gosh, that was the worst landing ever. How about you redeem yourself? <laughs> yeah? I was way too fast. A little fast. I should have gone around. Nice smooth landing. You got this. Look at that takeoff. Ooh, nice. Oh, a little wiggly there at the end. Well, a little gust of wind, too, to be fair. I have talked you through enough landings that now I think you do better without me talking. So I want to shut it. Oh, 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 turn girl, turn. You don't care. <laughs> that was nice. I'm not talking through landings ever again. Wow. Well, I need to give credit where credit is due because off camera before my other attempt, uh, Nate told me exactly what I was doing wrong and he was right. He told me I was forcing the jet to come down before it was ready. That I was kind of pushing down too much or actually just not giving it enough elevator. Just letting the wheels touch before it was ready. And I like to have the wheels hit, you know, in front of me, not past me. I, I just feel like I can see what the plane or the jet in this case is doing a little bit better. So that's exactly what I was doing wrong. I was just pushing the plane down too fast. So that second attempt when I passed us, I did what Nate told me, just let it keep bleeding off speed and then it will set down. And it set down perfect. Definitely pi pilot error on that first landing, but I want to show you something. Look at this. Like my landing gear are fine. 
and I don't I don't know how many hops that was but they were rough hops and like there's literally no damage no. to these landing gear. Like, They're tough. That's insane. And plus, if you damage them anyways, it's so easy to replace them. And they're not very expensive at all to replace. But that should tell you something about the durability of this plane with, you know, rough landings. I love this. I am super happy that I'm it came glad. out. <laughs> uh, it's way uh, less intimidating than that Viper success that I flew a little while ago for you guys and then cried about it. <laughs> I'm not yeah. crying on this one, but I was nervous and I'm super happy that I got it down and I got it down twice. So uh, that should tell you something with how well this success jet performs. Can I tell I'm you something? I'm impressed. You said you're, you were nervous. Yes. Here's a little secret. I'm always nervous. <laughs> I don't know about that. Every maiden. Every maiden. You're every nervous, maiden. But after that, you're not. Yeah. Oh well. When does that happen? Because I'm nervous every flight. That'll know. <laughs> you don't need to be there. Especially when there's a few people behind us watching us, and I know it. My nerves amp up even yeah, more. Yeah. Me too. But maybe it's just being a girl in a male-dominated hobby that makes me a little bit more nervous than anything else I've ever done. I've performed in front of 100,000 people before and uh, not really cared at all about <laughs> I mean cared but like no nerves yeah uh, but doing this I don't know it's, it's weird <laughs> <laughs> you did good yeah and so you know this isn't I wouldn't suggest this for your first plane but maybe uh, if you feel pretty confident your second or third RC especially if you want to try jets if you want to just get straight into jets I'll have the original ready to fly Habu it's a little more docile a little bit easier to fly and way more forgiving than what this plane is with mistakes I was super surprised with how much this banked I really couldn't believe it but I liked it um, and I'm excited to progress even more on this plane the next time you see me fly it I'll try a couple of simple rolls and loops for you just wake it up a little bit more than what I did today in a few days though Nate will have his maiden and uh, I'm sure he'll show me up uh, <laughs> uh. but if you decide to pick this up and you didn't know about it I want to tell you really quickly about the Academy of Model Aeronautics they provide insurance for the RC pilot the RC enthusiasts actually they'll do cars too um, and you know with doing a hobby like this it can be dangerous and they provide guidelines and just basic rules that you should follow to help keep you safe. But if something does happen and you hit something, you hit a building, you hit somebody's car, God forbid you hit somebody, they step in to help take care of the damages. Um, and that's just really important to wherever you fly, to fly safely. And I would never fly without AMA. In fact, my AMA membership, as well as probably a lot of people if you're on yearly, is getting ready to expire here in a couple months and you're gonna have to renew. Maybe we can do that coupon code again. Maybe Ooh, we'll Christmas time. See. So maybe hold out, see if we can get that coupon code again. You know, it's just something just really good about having AMA. It makes me feel good and just a little bit more safe when I fly to know that if something does happen, they got my back. So I'll have that linked in the description box below for you guys, right beside this awesome brand new Habu SS jet and the battery the charger and the transmitter that we use to fly this as well as the more beginner ready to fly habu it'll all be down there so check it out and i want to thank god just for giving me a successful flight for reminding me again to not let fear keep me from doing fun and awesome things so thanks to the big guy upstairs for that also a huge thanks for our patron family members uh, for just having our backs all you guys scrolling by right now you rock and we appreciate every single patron i'll have the habu ready to fly popping up right about now for you guys to check out in case you're wanting something a little bit more beginner friendly so we'll see you over there bye